Hello and welcome everyone. So, some of you might remember when I first played GP Bikes, I made a video on it and this happened. Oh, jeez, we've dead. We're dead. We're dead. Alright, let's try that again. Holy shitballs. I am not ready for this. Oh my god, I can't put the power down. I'm going to short shift the third. I'm on, I just realised why, I'm on slicks. You failure. And just after that clip, I mentioned I definitely have to retry this some point in time. And that is today. This is like the thousand sub special video you could say. We are Haga on the R7. We're going to go back to Hareth because best track in the world, don't at me. Uh, we are going to go dry tyres, wet track, full Brad Binder. Now, I didn't realise until I started to record this, that you actually have a slider here of how wet you can make it. So we're gonna do it in stages. We're not gonna go zero to 100, zero obviously it's dry. We're gonna start 10%. We're not going to adjust the temperature that much because if we have cold tires, we will crash. I've done a small bit of testing as well as what you see in that clip. But yeah, let's jump over and see what this happens. So what we have to do for this, I've already made a little setup. We have wet tires, front and rear, hard, medium and soft. We're going to go soft. If we go on hards, it'll be impossible. What I've also done is I've whacked the front pressure up. The higher the pressure, the more the tire will be put under stress, which will mean higher temperatures. Now, I've done no other changes to the setup, but let's go to track. I haven't tried it with 10%, so it might be impossible to ride. You can see it doesn't look that wet. If you look at the ground, it doesn't look that wet. You can see a few spots on camera lens but uh, let's just ease our way off here and see you can see it's just spitting slightly i'm gonna give it an old blip of throttle oh she does spin there's definitely a bit of moisture down let's see can we do a lap i don't know what it's like it's definitely not as wet the first time i can break which is a positive we should be able to probably do a lap in these conditions if i really take my time whoa it's still snappy though reason I've decided as well to go for these bikes they're a bit older they're not really as power bandy or kind of peaky as some of the other bikes a modern day bike would be nearly impossible to do this with so sorry I have already failed the binder challenge you could say but there's actually a plenty of grip I'm surprised what, what it's plenty there's plenty of grip he says right attempt one failure so I need to fall focus on not spinning the rear as much the only thing is when i spin the rear i will get some surface temperature a bit like that but my issue my issue will be the front tire the front tire will get cold as soon as i break lock on my ass that's exactly what happened so i kind of need to just if you watch my uh, front brake telemetry top right of your screen you might notice i'll be kind of pumping the brakes more than pressing them consistently we're going to just waddle around like a little duck out of water. We can actually get a fair bit of lean in fairness. It's just when you're at this point of lean, if you give her a bit too much throttle, you should go. Oh, the front. I don't know if you saw that in the bars, but the front just went sideways. And as well, the <laughs> rider stuck the leg off the wrong peg. This one here, up into the old dry sack, now known as Danny Pedroza. This is going to be hard. Very light in the brake, a lot of engine brake. Just having a quick look that I wasn't locking the front. As well, the issue with this is the slower I ride, the less temperature I get in the front. This is why Marcus is so good in these conditions and a certain Aussie, Jack Miller. Oh, it's treacherous though. It is. It feels like as the lap goes on, it's getting more wet. And yeah, there's definitely no rear grip there if you give her the, the full power. And I don't have any... So yeah, that was that. So we're going to keep going around, I'm going to try and get a flying lap because if I keep going I will keep crashing so we're going to just have to chance it. And I was going to say I don't have any um, ECU settings for this bike so I can't turn the, I can't put on like a wet, oh the front wobbles like mad. I can't put on a wet torque map is what I was saying. So this is as best we're getting so this is 10%. I can't even do an out lap. I fear for what will, I fear what 
hundred percent. So it's clear you can't get to your maximum lean or it'll just tip off. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to try and just waddle around. I even on ten percent I don't know if I'll make it a lap. Cause I believe the tires have lost so much temperature now. They come out at a pretty decent temperature. Get a bit of real, real steering. So I'm not going to use the front brake really. So I'm going to be very delicate with it. I'm not going to tip it in fully. Keep it in second gear, All right? Flying lap time. I'm going to wheel spin. Grip, you bitch. All right, down to turn one. 100 miles an hour, revving out in six because we're spinning so much. Oh, I didn't do anything wrong there. The replay of what just happened. Watch the front. Just locks. Has zero temperature. We're going to try it one more time. What we're going to do, go back to the pits. We're going to go to track again. Let's just check the temperatures. So we are getting temperature. We just have no grip. I think it'd be rideable if I stuck a wet front in, but that would be cheating. So we're going to try and do a really aggressive outlap because the tires are at the hottest now. And if we can get them moving, we'll have grip. Oh, Jesus. We'll have some sort of decent level of grip. And currently, you can see throttle and brake at the same time just to load the front a bit. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 Ted. They didn't like that. Right, we're going to have to push. Um, no, that's not going to work. Hmm, do you know what we need? We need more water. So we're back. We've made it, you can see the tarmac is a lot darker now because there's a lot more water on track. We're now up to 50%. I have also made a small adjustment to my front leverage. Basically, I have a slightly more progressive front brake. I don't know if it'll make a difference. I actually think this is pretty close to what I rode when I had the V4R. That no, it's still better grip, I'd say. But this is very hard. I don't believe we'll be able to do a lap at all. That's, this is full lean as well. It, these bikes are a bit springy, so they like to bounce and then they wave transfer themselves back. That's full lean. If this lets go, I'm coming off. Like, there's nothing. I'm tipping in so early. Oh, I should be on the curbs. And give it a bit of a slide. This isn't going to be good. I have to kind of straight line it and then bring it back for the latest of all apexes ever. Oh, we're not making a true Pedroza corner. Like, we're not. I just know it. Even in 6 gear, it just spins at 7,000 RPM. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to just engine brake this one. We've made it further than I expected. We are... Beyond, beyond tiptoeing this bike around. Oh, oh, it's very hard to talk and focus on keeping this thing at 3% lean angle at all times. For some reason, no, I was just going to say, for some reason, we're doing better with more rain and then I high side it. So, all right, we're going to just continue this lap. We're going to have to jump out of the sand because the sand is too deep. Can we, do we have launch control in this, actually? No, we don't, unfortunately. I thought we'd launch on this, but yeah, we're going to just try and limp back to the start line and do a lap. What is going on? <laughs> what even was that like? I tried to take a small bit of corner speed and we just had... Shake, shake, shake. The ultimate tank slapper. <laughs> I, was, I was just trying to get back to the pits to start a new lap. And uh, yeah, that happened. All right, into the final corner. Can we do a lap on 50% rain? The surface looks like glass. Is this adding temperature to my tire, I wonder? It's adding temperature to the engine and bonus off limiter. So three minute 44. I can go better than that, surely. Oh, I'm in hot air. I'm in hot. I'm in hot air, boys. We're not getting this stopped. It's first gear. Every corner in the rain is first gear. 
about 8000 rpm it just starts to kick in and then you're in trouble gingerly now nitri nitri nori oh you can't feel all that's going through my hands and these could in the controller it is not nice it, it is riding on ice like it is there's no other way of saying it if you watch my steering input up in the top oh no we bend it we bend it as i was saying if you watch my steering input you can see me counter steering so much because of how much it feels like at every second it just feels like it's going to go and when it goes you're not saving it we're going to try one more time to get a lap in and then we're going to go to 100 percent rain right we've managed to make it back to the final corner i've crashed easily 60 times so the tires are completely gone to ice i am barely accelerating but a third throttle can i hit 70 miles an hour just now we just back shift leave the engine brake and do all the work i'm not using my brakes for this lap because that is a death sentence on this ice even when you change gear just to change the torque it completely spins the rear help oh i think i need to just stay in third gear the whole way around but then it understeers more can we spin it up no we fucked it all right i know exactly what we need more water so we are back once again and yeah 100 percent rain doesn't look much it does look more kind of glassy which is scary but here yeah, let's give it a go barely idling the bike let's see when it hits about 4000 it's going to spin there we go it's an absolute ice rink now 100 percent even on rain tires this isn't yeah we're not making a lap of this track even on rain tires wet weather tires this is hard to ride in it's just going to tip over i notice i can't give it any beans i have to be so delicate with it it is crazy even if you just tip in the rear let's go i'm going to just waddle my way around Just like most people on a track, they just waddle around 40 miles an hour through the corners. Oh, this is impossible. Oh, I'm running wide. And again, as soon as you hit a bit of a power band. I'm just keeping forth, tip in nice and early. This is the most intense 40 mile an hour racing you'll ever see on the world of YouTube. Oh, we're on the curb, shit. That's not good. Can we hit 100 miles an hour down here? Can we hit 60? Can we break the law a little bit? All right. I'm gonna break the 200 meter board by braking, back shifting horrifically. I can feel the rear wheels after locking a touch there. That's not good. But once again, for some reason we've made it this far. I know we're going slower than a turtle. But, oh Jesus, we are still on the motorbike. It's barely idling. Oh, again, as soon as you, as soon as you just give it a bit of throttle, and you're on the gravel. Oh, okay, we're running wide here. We are. Oh, I'm using the front. Oh, we get more lean angle on the AstroTurf, apparently. What the hell is that about? What the hell? That was weird. And yeah. We've almost. Technically, we did crash on this lap, so we crashed going out of the pits. 
That astroturf there looks a bit grippy, doesn't it? And in real life, that astroturf is like ice. Like, properly. If you get a, a rear tyre on that and to dry, especially if it's wet, you just lose everything. It's quite dangerous. Alright, we're going to risk it in here. We're going to take it at 50 miles an hour. Downshift and a bit of acceleration so she doesn't knock up. Come on, 50 miles an hour. Barely got my knee off the tank. Gonna tip it nice and early through Ferrari or Crivier, I can't remember which one that is. Oh, help. Look at that guy up there, look at him. Up on top of the tower. One corner to go and then we can start a flying lap. Oh, Jesus, why? What? What? I wasn't breaking, it was. <laughs> so our final lap. I don't have much hope I'll make it in one piece. We're going to give it our best go. But it is clear one thing, Brad Binder is a better man than I am. Because <laughs> I can't do it in a game and he did it in real life. I can't even get above 65. Right, into one. I'm gonna tip in, taking way too much corner speed. Been so gingerly on the power. <clears throat> Making sure my rider is back in the seat before we go anywhere or near that throttle. To turn two, under stair, under stair. Shot shift to turn forward. Can't turn anymore. Wheel spin, gonna keep him fort. Nice and early apex. Well, <laughs> nice and early turn in, there's no apex. Oh, and it's gone. Out of nowhere, like it just. <sighs> it is impossible to ride a lap in this game on a wet track with dry tyres. For example, I'm gonna show you what it's like with wet tyres. The grip is, oh, it feels amazing to have grip again. We're gonna just do an outlap, just to show you how quick I can go in the rain with actual tires. Oh, what are these? That's braking I'm using. Oh my God, I'm gonna touch the car, look at that. Really, I should've crashed there, but. They still will leave go pretty easy though, if you spin them up. But the grip I have is pretty good. Look at the lean we're getting. I'm gonna give it a bit of beans out of here. Doesn't want to spin up at all. You can see I'm turning into already because I'm used to a bike that just doesn't turn. I actually can't spin it, would you believe? This feels ridiculously quick now because of how. Look, 80, 90, 100% brake, and I didn't crash. Alright, one more lap. One more lap we're going to do with the dries. Wet front, soft rear. Let's go. I believe the wet front is will save me a bit more. Now I do most of my crashes were rear end kind of spitting me off, but I bet a better, better front end should be better for this overall. I can actually brake now, you see, which is interesting. It's an interesting balance. In most games you can't really have wet tires and a dry tire on at the same time so this is pretty cool <laughs> it doesn't turn though oh it still spins like nobody's business as well this will get so cold that front tire so it's still even though it's wet you still don't want to up any better all right we're going to fast forward to the end of the overlap and we'll see what we can do with one dry one wet tire right here we are limping around so i've noticed i can brake pretty strong with the front brake it's just the rear tire now is so hard to get traction from if you accelerate really slow you can put the power down but as soon as you get to certain revs it just doesn't work 75 maybe no 73 Downshifting on the brakes, very little front brakes still because I still don't trust the front. After the whole outlap, I'd say it is ridiculously cold. I'm 
when you're at really low speeds you can get a bit of lean angle but we're not going to try it the third gear oh, it just doesn't turn at all no we screwed it no I think I have shown that I'm not good enough to do a lap in the wet dry tires fortunately this is a big failure and I didn't expect much more right then that was the Brad Binder style challenge dry tires wet track it is bloody impossible if you have this game, try it out for yourselves and see how you get on. If you did enjoy today's episode, drop a like down below. It does really help to challenge out with the algorithms on YouTube. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to see more GP21, MotoGP games in general, GP bikes, MXGP, all that good stuff. And if you have any other ideas or challenges for me, let me know in the comments down below and I'll lay. Uh, might just try out a few more of these because this was pretty fun it was really hard and really really had to focus for it but it was actually quite fun so yeah i hope you did enjoy today it's a bit of a different video but thanks again for watching i'll catch you all in the next one